Oh, you've been watching the news, man. You see it's coming, right? You see that Gog and Magog battle coming, right? You know all this stuff you was talking about? How everything been fulfilled? No, bro. You're going to see Christ any day now. Bro, we've been having war since the beginning of the time, bro. Why every war Gog and Magog? Seems like every time someone have a war, it's Gog and Magog. Y'all didn't vote that prophecy every year since probably, what, the 80s, man. All this stuff didn't already happen, bro. I'm trying to tell you. No, bro, it ain't happened. See, me and my wife last night, we was reading Ezekiel 38. We was reading Revelation chapter 20. Bro, all that stuff happening today, bro. And it's happening tonight. It's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to happen the next day, man. I'm taking it, man. You'll probably see Christ on the clouds probably two, three weeks. What you think? Riding on clouds is idiomatic language for judgment, bro. So that's what that's all about. But let's go through them passages that you was talking about. Let's hear a little bit on each one of them. Let's see if what you're saying if it pan out. Let's look at that Ezekiel 38, 14, 15. Therefore, mortal, prophesy and say to God, thus says the Lord God, on that day when my people Israel are living securely, you arouse yourself and come from your place out of the remote part of the north, you and many people with you, and all of them riding on horses in a great horde, a mighty army. Verse 16 too, you will come against my people Israel like a cloud covering the earth, in the latter days, I will bring you against my land so that the nations may know me. When you, uh, when through you, O God, I display my holiness before their eyes. Now let's go to that Revelation 20, verse 7. When a thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, in order to gather them to battle, them that are the numerous as the sand of the sea. They marched over the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And fire came down from heaven and consumed them. So let's see if we can find that more in the New Testament. Luke 19, 41. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for their peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every corner and let's end it with luke 21 luke 21 20 through 22 when you see jerusalem surrounded by army then know that the desolation has come near then those in judea must flee into the mountains and those inside the city must leave it and those that are in the country must not enter into it for these are the days of vengeance as the fulfillment of all that is written so we see christ said that when jerusalem was surrounded by the roman army everything in the scripture would be fulfilled that would include the ezekiel passage by god and magog so that occurred first century so what happened in revelation occurred first century too bro so now all the stuff that's going on today has nothing to do with biblical prophecies it do say that bro you sure read a lot of scriptures though but man, i gotta study this bible more bro